Hello, this is O. Morgan from O. Morgan Labs. And today we're going to talk about interpolation by hand. Say you had a chart 1839. Uh, and say you want to find what's the value at 2. But this example is pretty easy because you, you can see it's right in the middle. So the answer would be eight and a half. But we're going to do it this way where you can't see it. So this is an example where you can kind of see the answer to check yourself at the end. Okay. So first we kind of set up a little triangle here. We know it's, if it's linear interpolation, this is linear. We know it's going to be based on a straight line. So 1 8 would be here. And then over here would be 3 comma 9. Okay. And then you just make a triangle out of that. Okay. And then your unknown would be right here somewhere. And that's your 2 y1 dotted line now the hard part's over we set up the triangle now we just use similar triangles we have this triangle and then we have the smaller triangle and all we have to do is compare the smaller triangle to the larger triangle Okay, so we have the smaller triangle. Well, let's do the larger triangle first. The distance from here to here, you go from 1 to 3, so that's 2. The distance from here to here, your Y goes from 8 to 9, so that's 1. Next triangle. The smaller one. So from here to here is you go from one to two, so that's one. The distance from here to here, that's just y, we'll call it. Okay, we'll say y or y2 equals y1 minus 8. So here you go. You work out the similar triangle. 2 over 1. Equals. And you do the same sequence in similar triangles. 1 over y2. One over y2. Then you solve y2 is one half. So we go back to this equation here. If y2 is 1 half, then y1 is what? 8 and a half. And there's your answer. 8 and a half. 8 point five. And there it is, linear interpolation. So all you have to do is remember if it's linear interpolation, it's a straight line, and then use similar triangles to figure out what your unknown is. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe.